Who is it? Her kids. No one is too small to make a difference. So said climate activist Greta Thunberg. Our speech is about global warming and climate change. If we keep on burning fossil fuels, our world as we know it will die. Transportation makes up 29% of global warming. So when you drive a car, that gas in the car makes many explosions known as greenhouse gas emissions. That then comes out of your tailpipe, getting lodged in the atmosphere of other chemicals, heating up our planet. <laughs> to prevent this action, you can start walking, biking, or scootering to work. If manufacturers keep on making cars that you can charge, it would decrease a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. The Environmental Protection Agency states the following contributes to global warming. Agriculture, 9%. Commercial and residential, 12%. Industry, 22%. Electricity, 28%. Transportation, 29%. NASA says warmer conditions will probably lead to more evaporation and precipitation, but some regions may vary, some becoming wetter and others drier. Raise your hand if you've ever seen the movie The Lorax. Okay, so a lot of you. The main character has a business idea, but he has to chop down all the trees in this little paradise land. That does not stop him. He chopped down all the trees, put tar in the rivers, and put down factories that shoot out smog. In his song, he says, how bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. He also says, ploppity plop plop, choppity chop chop, and smoggity smog smog. <laughs> now the animals have no food, no water, and no place to live, and that paradise land was destroyed. I believe this is what we're doing to our planet and what it'll turn out to be if we don't act. reveals that greenhouse gas emissions are produced primarily by the burning of fossil fuels, and an appropriate response should be reducing the amount of fossil fuels that we produce every day by everyday activities. To start off, you can recycle reusable materials to decrease the amount of greenhouse gas emissions produced from goods and the industrial field. The second way to advocate for the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions is to only use fossil fuel transportation in the need of an emergency. We may think we have emergencies every day, such as the need to go get coffee or, or getting to point B in a non-important situation, but these are wants, not needs. So let's compromise on a productive solution in which we have the desire to solve our wants in a way without causing more CO2 to enter our atmosphere. Another simple way to help our environment is to share with others about the causes of our actions. We cannot hope for a better future by standing by and doing nothing. With action, then comes hope. So we have to act fast in our race to make a change because we either move on as a civilization or we don't. <laughs> 